Hi everyone, I'm Alex from Doc365. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import an Excel file to a SharePoint online list in simple steps. For this to work, you need to format the Excel spreadsheet content into a table format first. If you are importing the file from SharePoint itself, ensure that the file is saved in the default site library. Once the file is uploaded, ensure that you change the column name and column types appropriately. First, let me quickly show you how to format the Excel file. Let's format the data in this Excel sheet as a table first so that it will be ready for importing to uh, a SharePoint online list. So select the rows and columns you wish to import first and click on format as table option and choose the desired table features and click OK. So this file is ready as of now to get uploaded. So these are all the details. So this is how you need to format the file. Let's now go back to the SharePoint online platform and get started. I'm in one of my SharePoint sites called Marketing Updates. So this is the site where I'm going to import uh, one of my Excel sheets and uh, make it to a SharePoint online list. So for that, let me just uh, hide my navigation and uh, head up first so it looks more cleaner. So to create a new list from an existing Excel sheet or by importing an Excel sheet, if you need to create a SharePoint online, new list, click on new here and choose list first. So from here, you can see options like blank list, create a list from a blank list, from an Excel, from an existing list. So I'm going to choose the option from Excel. And from here, either you can choose a file that is already existing in your document library of the site, or you can upload one file, uh, Excel file from your desktop. So I will just show you uh, uh, one by uploading from my desktop first. So click on upload file and choose the uh, spreadsheet you have already formatted and make it ready. So I'm going to choose the site issues in audit uh, spreadsheet here. Select the file and click on open. So it will be open by now. So this is the file that I just uh, uh, imported. So make sure the column types are correct. This is the title here. This is actually need to be a number. This is the ID and this is the title uh, that's issue type. I think that needs to be a single line of text. Issue is correct. The failed checks that's in column type is number. That's okay. Total checks is number. Change from last audit. That's also a number column. So that's okay. <coughs> so once uh, you check all these factors and if you think that they are ready, click on next. So in this step, you need to uh, give a proper name for the file. That's the new list. So I'll keep the same name as in the spreadsheet, the site issues in audit table. You can also give a description. I'm going to give a description site issues from the December 2021 audit. So you can uh, either uncheck or check the option to show this list in the site navigation. So I'm going to keep it uh, checked so that I can access this from the site navigation. So click on create. So the list will be now created from the uh, spreadsheet we have chose. So once the import is complete, this is how the list looks and it is clean and uh, it has all the information you had in the uh, Excel sheet. So keep checking that. And you can also, uh, if you wish to make any uh, further updates, you can click on edit in grid view option from the top. 
and all the uh, fields will now be editable so you can add new information make changes easily anytime not just this time so you can add new items etc so that's a very easy process as well we'll just exit the grid view i would also like to show you how to import an excel file uh, into a sharepoint list from an existing uh, excel file in your document library so this is how you can do it so uh, we'll just go back to the sharepoint home page site home page and uh, uh, for that click on new and choose list from the create a list option choose from excel and uh, find the file in your document library so i have uh, uploaded the same file in uh, into my document library to show a demo this is the file site issues in audit table it's the same file which we uploaded from the desktop earlier choose the file and click on next yeah like before this all the necessary options will be uh, populated automatically you can change the column type as required and if everything is good you can click on next you can give a different name as there is a different a similar file same file with a similar title here the description will just keep it as test as we are just uh, testing the option we'll uncheck the show inside native navigation as we don't need to show this uh, test file there and click on create so now a new list will be created as before so here it is uh, it's exactly the same as we did before uh, even if you are choosing a file from your desktop or if you are choosing a file from your document library the out final outcome will be the same it's neat and clean so this is how you can import an excel file to a list in sharepoint only this is a one-time process and you cannot repeat the same process after entering more data to the excel file later you may be required to use the quick edit option as i shown uh, earlier in that case uh, which will be tougher than these simple steps of you know, importing the excel file hope you got a clear understanding about importing excel file into a list in sharepoint online i'll see you with another useful sharepoint tutorial have a good day